Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Up next in our 31 Days of Oscar Marathon, we have another film from the 70s that impressed Oscar voters. It's Papillon from 1973, a very compelling prison drama starring Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman, which earned an Oscar nomination for Jerry Goldsmith in the category of Best Original Music Score. Jerry's name was often mentioned when the Oscar nominations were read out in the 1970s. He received seven nominations in that decade alone, winning his one and only Oscar for his music score for the 1976 film, The Omen. But Jerry did very well with Oscar throughout his whole career, receiving a total of 18 nominations overall. An amazing run from the John Huston film Freud in 1962 to Mulan in 1998. And he's but one of many talented people involved in this movie, Papillon. The film is based on the memoir of a notorious guy named Henri Cherrier who spent most of his time locked up in French prisons, the last one being the supposedly inescapable Devil's Island. Now, the film is about his various attempts to escape from there and was a project done by the relatively small Allied Artists Movie Company, which was trying to upgrade its status in the film market, so spared no expense to make this film. Steve McQueen's salary alone was a record-breaking $2 million. In all, the film came in at $13 million, which was a huge amount in the 70s, especially for a studio the size of Allied Artists. But Steve McQueen was a huge box office star at the time, so it wasn't considered that much of a gamble, especially since it was McQueen teamed with a major box office name like Hoffman, who already had titles on his resume, such as Midnight Cowboy, The Graduate, and Straw Dogs. The director of our film is Franklin Schaffner, who had directed the movie Patton three years earlier and won an Oscar for it. Another interesting footnote, our film was co-written by Dalton Trumbo, who at this point was no longer a blacklisted writer, so was given full credit for his contribution. From 1973, here's an epic and very exciting story filmed on location in Spain and Jamaica. Here's Papillon. <laughs> 